Hi, my name is Evelyn Saltero. I own a small business all about wells, where I help people dial in their well systems. I specialize in helping people with their low producing wells and encouraging the fire safe, groundwater wise land management. Professionally, I care about my clients' groundwater quality and quantity, which is why I put together this informational video on exactly what it would mean to have a local mine company dewater the multiple shafts below the town of Grass Valley. So welcome to mining and your well system. Okay, my name's Evelyn Saltero. I have a small business all about wells. If you feel like you need to contact me with any questions, please do. And before we continue, I'd like to remind us that mining is controversial as we know it. So please, this video is meant to help be informative and to help you form your own opinion. If you have concerns, please take them to the Nevada County Board of Supervisors. Let's start by talking about what it would mean to dewater a local mine in the town of Grass Valley. If our mine shafts are groundwater reservoirs, will our local wells be dewatered? If we're discharging millions of gallons of dewatered mine water into Wolf Creek, will that mobilize mercury in our watershed? Will the millions of gallons of removal of groundwater below the town of Grass Valley impact our groundwater quantity and quality? Will that removal of millions of gallons of water impact our forest health, potentially increase our fire risk? Could it increase seismicity or potential subsidence, especially with the heavy trucks traveling back and forth throughout our town carrying all the mining debris? And then lastly, I'd like to wrap up with how you can support your local groundwater production. This first schematic is of a local well system. But what's important about this particular slide, other than the components within your well system, are the fractures below the ground that intersect with your well seasonally. Now, more specific to your well is a well completion report. This report can be gleaned from the Department of Water Resources, the local well drillers, or you can check with Nevada County. But what's important about this particular report relative to your well is it describes the geology, any fractures present, your depth to water at the time the well was drilled, the gallons per minute, and the date that the well itself was drilled. You can collect this report. They are public information. I would encourage you to collect this report on your well or your neighbor's well to begin to see how your geology would correlate with that of the mine in your vicinity. Now this slide is of our local bedrock. And right there in the junction of Highway 49 and Highway 20, you'll see a yellow circle that is the general boundaries of the Idaho-Maryland mine. And if you have gone ahead and gotten your well report, you can begin to correlate yourself relative to the footprint of that mine. And this next slide is actually the property boundaries of the Idaho-Maryland mine. And it is within the town of Grass Valley. It's adjacent to the Empire State Mine Park. And then that, by the way, so the lighter purple gray is the Idaho, Maryland mine property boundaries. The sage green is the Empire Mine State Park property boundaries. And then the lighter purple is the broader Grass Valley town uh, property boundaries. And then this next little overlay here is the geology from the previous slide. So once again, once you get ahead and go ahead and get your well driller's log, you should be able to begin to correlate how connected or not your particular well is within the footprint of the Idaho Maryland mine. Now this footprint is a surface view footprint, if I may, that you can go ahead and look at the street names and <clears throat> once again try to correlate where you are in this footprint of this mine to see if your well would be impacted by the dewatering of millions of gallons of water from below the town of Grass Valley. Now I've thrown around the term dewatering quite a bit. What is actually, what does it mean to dewater? It, it means to remove water, but it is discussed typically in terms of an acre foot. An acre foot is 326,000 gallons of water, or enough for four conservative families per year, or one unconservative family per, per year. The plan is to pump for an initial six months to the tune of an initial 2,500 acre feet or upwards of 2,500 to 10,000 families years worth of water within that six month time frame. And then every day for the 80 year permit were it granted, a million gallons of water will be dewatered or removed from the mine shafts below the town of Grass Valley. That's upwards of three to 12 families years worth of water being removed from below the town of Grass Valley every single day for the duration of the 80 year permit. 
Now this visual is of our fractured rock aquifer. It shows a mocked up mine on the right full of water and it shows various fractures also full of water. And as a visual, as we begin to dewater the mine shafts below the town of Grass Valley, once that mine shaft is emptied, so local and then more regional groundwater will begin to pour into that mine shaft. And so essentially dewatering removes water from the mine shafts, but also begins to remove water from the surrounding areas as local groundwater is drawn towards the pumps. Where will this water go? This water will be discharged into South Wolf Creek. A long stretch of the creek is, will, the plan is to be encased in pipes, acting as an underground storm drain. Now many people are concerned about the non-stop discharge into our local creek, but we should possibly also be concerned about chemical pollution, the dewatering of our local wells, and potentially the impact on our groundwater quality. Again, I would encourage you, if you have concerns, to please contact your Nevada County Board of Supervisors. And recognize that the release of millions of gallons of water into Wolf Creek is akin to flood stage. Now this next slide shows the interconnectivity between surface water and groundwater. So again, I'd like you to imagine if we are pumping millions of gallons of water from the mine shafts below the town of Grass Valley, how will that impact our local wells? How will it impact our local surface water features such as Wolf Creek. Now this slide is a slide of our western southern part of the county with a series of watersheds that have been uh, created or I should say outlined. But what's important about this slide is again is to help you understand we all live in our watersheds and our surface water and our groundwater are interconnected. So we know that surface water is replenished by precipitation but surface water is also replenished later in the year by upwelling groundwater, such as natural springs, seeps, or wetlands. Now, groundwater itself, we know, is found in pores or saturated parts of our fractured rock, but it is interconnected with our available surface water. And so were we to get to pumping, as is shown here in this slide, and we begin to remove water from the shafts and we are continuing to pump, we pull water from local and then more regional areas, forming what's called a cone of depression. Now that potentially could lead to subsidence and potentially seismicity, but at the very least, as we begin to dewater the mine shafts below the town in Grass Valley, the potential for local and then more regional groundwater to be drawn into that dewatering is uh, real. This slide here speaks to our interconnectivity of our forest trees and their roots with our groundwater. If we are removing millions of gallons of groundwater from below the town of Grass Valley, how will that impact our forest health? Will the roots then be void and in permanent drought? Will that increase our fire risk? So here's a visual to help show you in this housing schematic and with the well system, as we begin to remove water from below the town of Grass Valley and those shafts are empty and our roots now are in dry, hardened rock, our tree health could begin to suffer and we could increase our fire risk right here in this town. And then, of course, removing volumes of water from below the town of Grass Valley removes a force. And could the removal of that water from those shafts increase subsidence in our town, especially with trucks traveling back and forth heavy with mining debris? And does that removal or will that removal of millions of gallons of water also increase our seismicity? Because now we are actually have a void below the town of Grass Valley as all of that water has been removed from those mine shafts. So I would encourage you, if you have concerns, to please contact your Nevada County Board of Supervisors. They typically meet on the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month, roughly at 9 a.m. Here's a phone number and an email for you to contact. And again, I would encourage you to bring your concerns to Nevada County Board of Supervisors. Lastly, if you live with the well, I encourage you to support your local groundwater production. You can reduce unnatural runoff, you can eliminate compaction, and you can certainly encourage infiltration. You are interconnected with the local hydrologic system. I want to thank you for supporting your groundwater and taking a minute to hear about the impacts of dewatering our local mine below the town of Grass Valley. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions.